What's going on, guys? Your boy Gamer Guy now here. Bring you guys another stressful loss versus another divisional team. Well, we could have easily beat the favorites to blow them out. But I keep telling people, division games are just not as easy as people think. When you play a division game, all the records are going out the window. And it's prime example against the Buccaneers. This game right here was so annoying. So annoying watching, man. So annoying. It's like, and as a football fan, I think this goes for everyone. When your team is playing so bad, and you can't, you can't do a damn thing about it. Like you can just sit there and just watch them struggle, yo. These dudes fumbled three times in the red zone, yo. Three times in the red zone. Three times. Three times. Not in the red zone. Not in the red zone. Not in the red zone. The red zone. They fumbled three times on a drive. Three, three times on a drive, yo. They fumbled. We fumbled three times on the drive. Um, oh my goodness, man. Um, it's just all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, Jay, the the center Mike Pearson or James Stone, whoever it was starting last week, man, that dude blows. Like both of those centers blows. They do not know how to snap a freaking football. Those cost those they cost the one fumble. There you go, right there. Julio Jones fumbled. He got a huge reception, and he got stripped from behind by the same guy who he chased down on the could have been pick six, but a flag brought that back. Some doing that Alexander for the Bucks, the linebacker. I don't know; he's irrelevant. But um, he, he stripped Julio. Yeah, Julio, you know, hold on to the ball, man. I don't know. I don't know. He honestly, Julio fumbled twice. One time was against New Orleans last year, and the second time was against this team. Who doesn't have a fumbling habit, but, like, you got to be aware, like, you're running. Um, it's a traffic with some players. Right there, that was the most BS play I've ever seen by a CPU this year. But um, you got to know you run as a traffic. You run around some people. You got to hold on to the ball because you know someone's coming from behind. Shout out to anybody who watched the Falcons in the 49ers game. When um, Matt Ryan threw a pick, what could have been a game-winning pick. Game ending pick and Ryan right away made a hustle play, chased the cornerback all the way down, and knocked the ball off, stripped him, and then we got the ball right back. Just stuff like that, man. You gotta be aware, you know, who's behind you. Gotta know, protect that football a little bit more. Um, Julio fumbled, our center fumbled the dag on snap. Um, I know it was another fumble. I don't know, I don't know what the other fumble was. I can't remember, but I do recognize three fumbles. I do remember those three fumbles. You guys can go check out the highlights at NFL.com. You think I'm lying. Um, if they even showed the three fumbles, I mean, they're all highlights after all. But um, we man, oh my god, that game was like pure strong, pure. I don't know what to say. We lost at home to the Bucks, yo. Like that's embarrassing. Like what is up with us losing to these sorry teams? Like we we can beat every other team, but we can't beat no one in our division, yo. Seriously speaking, those are two games against the Saints and the Bucks. We could have easily, easily, easily won, or at least played better than we did. Than we coming out. Performing against both those teams, man. Ever since the Saints game, we just fumbled. Like, we fumbled three times. Falcons, we've been having nothing but offensive offensive struggles, man. Yeah, man. We've been a struggling team ever since then, man. Been a struggling team. Um, got a good a close game with the Titans. We only managed to score 10 points against the Titans. That's fucking sad. Um, um, Saints game, we lost 31 to 21. Um, and their defense is not even that good. Um, could have put up more points than them, honestly, but it is what it is. Um, due to the, the miscues, the fumbles and shit. Take away those fumbles. Like I said, we would have beat the Saints. Take away those fumbles. At least take away one out of those three fumbles. No, take away like two out of those three fumbles. The Bucks, we we, we would have boy, We would have been. That game would have been over with, yo. And it went to overtime. But then, oh, well, let me tell you, before I get to the overtime discussion. You know how many times they don't, this man on James was on through the mic, Evans, lobbed it up with a whole chuck and bitch like in Madden. And they call like back to back pass interference calls on true fun. Like he wasn't even PI, he wasn't even passing interference in the man. Like I'm so serious. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. It was just one, it was a one play. He did grab him by the shoulder pad. But the other play wasn't even front. Oh my God, you guys seen it. When he passed interference, even a commentator disagree with that. I don't even know, yo. That's just complete garbage at his finest, man. The NFL's not to turn to a sissy sport. It's honestly, seriously starting to turn into a little pussy sport, yo. Because the way how they do it, they don't need to let people go out there and play football. They call flags on anything. They got so many daggone rules, so many daggone penalties nowadays compared to back in the day, yo. It's like, man, at least college football, you don't even have that, yo, in college football. All right here, I just go up top with Julio, man, one-on-one, definitely take that any day. Julio Jones is the best receiver in the NFL, after all. Um, stats back it up. But anyways, um, back to the um, topic on discussion, hands down here. Um... 
just that game was just so so disappointing watching, man. So disappointing. I'm just disappointed in my team, man. I'm really disappointed in my team. They've been playing the past two weeks. If I don't know what's up with the Falcons. They, they love getting the, they fans heart attacks, man. Love they you know want to go to the hospital after the game. They love putting us in these watching us. These stress love putting us in these stressful games to watch, man. Honestly, yo. I love my team. I love my team with a passion, yo. Like, and a lot of people say, oh, why? You're getting mad even though your team is 6-2? and two? Yeah. I mean, yo, okay, yo. I'm sorry, I should be more grateful about that my team 6-2, and two, but the, the fact that the way that they're playing now, they won't even, probably won't even, um, they probably won't even go far in the playoffs. I doubt it. I already have them. We can't win the division. I already got them exiting out of the first round, honestly speaking. But, um, we don't make, if we win the division, get some home field advantage. Um, at least like the first game of the season. But um, anyways, like it's like man, it's, I don't know what's up with the team, man. I really don't know. I don't know what's up with them lately, man. But they need to get it together, man. I don't know. If somebody need to walk around like every play need to walk around the whole freaking practice field, the whole downtown Atlanta holding the football hands so they can know how to or hold on to the ball. The center just don't even know how to snap the dag on ball. Like it's ridiculous. Jacob Tammy did his thing. He went off against Tampa Bay, man. Um, Devontae Freeman did his thing. Guys over 100 yards rushing, man. And Matt Ryan, this dude here throws a pick. He mean, man, I don't know, man. It's like whenever we, you know, we play terrible with the fumbles, then Matt Ryan starts back with the interception. I've never, and I mean never, ever, 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 ever seen Matt Ryan play this bad this year. Honestly speaking, I've never seen him play this bad this year. I'm like, wait, man, where's the Matt Ryan? We making God reads, like rarely be throwing picks. It's like, man, I don't even know, man. This dude look, looking like the, um, you know, the playoff Matt Ryan before um, 2012. Well, he just, I don't know, man. The picks, uh, the Green Bay game, 2010, New York game, or 2011. I don't even know, man. I don't know, y'all. He's, and then one thing I hate, that, that him and Kyle Shannon, they're not even taking shots downfield of Julio. They're not even taking a lot of shots downfield. They're really not, man. They're not really, I have not seen a one highlight of them, but Matt Ryan just bombing it deep. More than 50 yards down the field. Never. I have not seen that highlight yet as of right now. They just, do the, they just be doing a lot of short of intermediate passes, yo. I mean, I ain't complaining. I mean, we're six and two. You know, don't fix nothing. It's not broke, you know what I'm saying? But no, I'm just saying, yo. I want her to take a couple shots deep. You got one of the best receivers in the game. Like, just go ahead and chuck one down deep to him, man. You know what I'm saying? But this game's coming to an end, man. Um, beat the CPU 17 to 13 final score. Uh, wish the game could end up like this, but you know, in this game, at least we didn't fumble the ball three times, man. But Jesus, yo, like, man, they got to get their miscues together, man. Them fumbles have got to stop. They have to stop. The fumbles stop, man, then Matt Ryan will be throwing picks. You know I mean? <laughs> got church in the morning. Well, technically today, it's 2 or 7 a.m. as I'm doing this commentary for you guys. Um, But like I said, man, if we can, you know, keep the fumbles minimum contained. And that would make Matt Ryan play better. Because when the fun was started, and then you don't know, get damn well, Matt Ryan's going to toss the pick sooner. I'll see you guys in the 49 video. I'm out. Peace.